Miss Brinkson, we're here because you're suspected of the disappearance of Mr. Mark Johnson on the 21st March 2012. I didn't even know it was missing. There's enough evidence to prove that you are responsible. I didn't know anything about it. You were the close person to stress, am I correct? I suppose. Were you two involved in a list? No, we were friends. How long did you know? You just listen to me. I didn't know anything about his disappearance. I didn't know anything about this case. Look, it's not like we don't believe you. It's just that. The evidence proves otherwise. So, you say you were not responsible for the disappearance of Mr. Mark Johnson? So, what were you doing on the 21st of March 2012? I can't remember. I don't know. You don't know? I know it sounds stupid, but I honestly can't remember. I can only remember up to the 20th. Do you have any evidence of your actions on the day? I keep a diary every day. Where is it? March 2012. Tomorrow I will win the lottery. Care to explain? So you write what you want to do the following day? No, it's not like that. Come on, Mark, you show me go through a personal diary. Ah, but it isn't a diary now, is it, Chloe? They have said you couldn't look through it, though, did I? You left it on the kitchen table and then allowed me into your house. Not exactly a good idea now, is it? Well, why can't it be a diary? Because in a diary, you're supposed to write about personal things such as dates, times, events, previous day stuff. So? Who does that? Nobody does that. Strange people do that. You do that. So? I have an odd hobby. You are the one who likes to eat ice cream with a fork. I don't know. Wait, how do you know about that? Maybe that you have to ask. But you like to write about your life in the diary. So, everything you write in here comes true? Oh well, yeah, only because I write basic things, like what time I'm going to go to the shop, or what time I'm making dinner. It's just a bit of fun. It's Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. What would happen if you wrote in here that you're going to win the lottery tomorrow? Oh, nothing, because I've just wrote it. My uh, diary is not a wish bookmark. <laughs> no, I know, but, it, you know, it's just, just fun. Oh, go get a pen. You can choose the numbers, and if we get them wrong, you can be the one to blame. Okay. Today, today. You actually won the following night. Mark rang me the next day saying that we'd won. So that's the last you read of Mark Johnson? Yeah. So did you collect the money? No. Why not? I just never found the diary. You still have the lottery ticket? Yeah. Are you sure that? It was here. I left it right here. I must have left it in the kitchen. Just forget it, miss. The thing is that you've claimed to have won using the numbers you wrote in here, but the winnings actually belong to someone called Josh Dillon in London. He was the exact same numbers you have said to have used. What do you mean? The, Josh Dillon's winnings went missing a couple of weeks back. And? You stole the winnings off Josh Dillon, didn't you? No! I didn't. I used the numbers that Mark gave me. Is that why you abducted him? So you wouldn't talk after you blame him? Or to make it look like he fled with the winnings? 
No, I don't know what's happened to him. I've told you. Why don't you believe me? Well, the evidence is against you. The evidence is wrong. Just like your memory. You specifically told us you cannot remember a thing of the 21st of March 2012. And that's true. Then so must the evidence. No, you can't do this. We'll have to take you in for further investigation, as there's nothing that we can do at this time. I... I... We'll send some men to check the house. Thank you.